5 to the UK, where the results of the Conservative leadership race is due to be announced by the 1920 committee following Liz Truss's resignation last week. Now, from breaking news that we're getting, Penny Mordaunt has, dropped, has pulled out of the contest to lead the Conservative Party. So it seems seven weeks after losing to Liz Truss in this year's first Tory leadership contest, it seems Rishi Sunak is set to become the next Prime Minister. As returning officer in the leadership election, I can confirm uh, that we have received one Well, for more on these results, let's cross live to Westminster, where we have Arise Chief Correspondent John Cookson joining us now for more on this. John, uh, thank you for joining us. Could you give us some reactions to this uh, recently announced results uh, announced by the 1922 committee? Hi, guys. Well, uh, look, it was uh, a conclusion that most people had come to that Sunak uh, had it in, in the bag. And, uh, and as we've learned, uh, uh, he will be the next prime minister of the United Kingdom after two or three months now of absolute political turmoil, uh, not only uh, in, in Downing Street and, and around, but also in the markets and uh, uh, issues to do with the, the pound sterling. At last, we, we have some kind of uh, uh, result, uh, and now there'll be a handover of power. Uh, Sunak will uh, go to see uh, Liz Truss uh, in due course. We're not sure exactly where Liz Truss is at the moment, probably uh, inside number 10. And thereafter, uh, he'll need to see uh, the king. The king will ask him formally to form a new government, and uh, a new era will begin. Uh, with Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak, 42 years old, a rising star in the Conservative Party, former banker at Goldman Sachs. Uh, he's a, a rich man. Uh, his combined wealth with his wife is thought to be around a billion dollars. This comes, a lot of it, from uh, Rishi Sunak's own private uh, income uh, in the past, but also his wife is the daughter of, of a billionaire, a tech billionaire in India. He'll be the first uh, non-Christian uh, Prime Minister, uh, being of the Hindu faith. His father uh, was born in Kenya, his mother in Tanganyika, now Tanzania. Uh, they came uh, to the UK uh, and uh, he was actually born in, in Southampton in the south of England. So there's another landmark, another historic landmark in British politics. He's got a lot on his plate. Uh, not least uh, inflation, the cost of living crisis, the war in Ukraine, all lots and lots of issues related to that. And also there have been a number of strikes, uh, in, ongoing strikes in the UK, United Kingdom with pay settlements uh, to sort out. And then there's a new budget on the way to try to uh, rescue the uh, British economy after the uh, trust uh, era in power, the short uh, era in power. Uh, that budget due on the 31st of October, uh, thought to contain cuts in public spending and also uh, uh, increase in taxes, which won't, won't be popular 
If he can get through this period, there is a chance that the Conservatives uh, might pick themselves up from the all-time low that they've been in in the last uh, few months. Uh, general election not expected soon, probably uh, in uh, 2024, or if not, uh, a little, little bit earlier than that. So uh, big news here in uh, London uh, and the UK, uh, having a, a new Prime Minister, uh, the, the third in four months. Well, John, we know that um, Pernod Mordaunt dropped out at the last minute. What do you think prompted that move? She didn't have the support. Remember when we talked uh, in the last uh, hour and uh, those declared in favour of Mordaunt was, was only 28 MPs, which, which is very low compared with uh, uh, Richie Sunak, who had 188 Penny Mordaunt, uh, you know, she'll go on to do good things. She, she may have struck a deal with uh, Rishi Sunak, uh, and that might have been one of the terms on, on which she did drop out. Maybe he's promised her high office. Uh, she's certainly uh, uh, politically uh, up, up to the mark. She's had eight ministerial posts in the past, including defence uh, secretary. So maybe a deal has been struck between uh, Mordaunt and uh, Sunak. Uh, we'll, we'll find out in, in the coming hours when Sunak uh, forms his government and uh, uh, form, puts, puts the cabinet together. I think Penny Mordaunt uh, uh, is another rising star in the Conservative Party, not generally well known by the British public, uh, not as well known as uh, Sunak and other ministers. Uh, People have heard of her as the, as the race uh, took place, but uh, generally speaking, uh, I think a lot of British people will be hard pushed to identify uh, 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 Penny Mordaunt. Uh, so uh, maybe a chance of high office in the future will have for her. We'll have to wait and see. And John, will there still be political pressure for a general election? <clears throat> for sure. Labour Party and other opposition parties are, call, are, are really calling for uh, a, a general election because Labour are at least 32% ahead in the polls if there was a general election tomorrow. According to pollsters, uh, Labour would win by an absolute landslide. But look, why would Sunak uh, call a, a, a poll a general election now? The shouting you can hear just behind me, I'm sure you can hear it, is a... Uh, uh, a, a Jesus freak saying that we all should uh, repent or, or we'll, we'll go to hell. But uh, he, he only goes on for about 10 seconds or so, but I'm sure he'll finish in, in, in a moment. Well, John, some analysts have said that he will be held to higher standards because of his skin color and also that he might be accused of being out of touch with reality because of the privilege that he holds. I just want your opinion on this. Do you agree with that sentiment? You'll just have to repeat the first bit of that question. I'm sorry. Okay, I've now, some here. people believe that the new Prime Minister will be held to a higher standard because of his skin colour, and some are of the opinion that he will be accused of being out of touch with reality because of the privileges that he holds. Do you agree with this sentiment? Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. I mean, Sunak has a lot of mess to, to clear up, not le least that left by uh, Boris Johnson. Now, Boris Johnson might be a vote winner, an election winner, but uh, my goodness me, he left the Conservative Party in a mess, uh, not least to do with COVID, his uh, participation in, in, in COVID parties, and he still uh, faces uh, a possible censure uh, by the Parliamentary Privileges Committee, which is having a full inquiry into that. And that was one of the reasons why uh, he uh, dropped out of the race, because uh, he must know that uh, if he put his name forward and actually won and became Prime Minister, then he might have to stand down if the Privileged privilege Committee found that he uh, had misled uh, Parliament. And that's, that's what uh, the Privileges Committee are, are looking into. So, yes, you, you're right. Uh, there is a lot of credibility uh, to be built up with uh, Rishi Sunak. Uh, Jeremy Hunt also has a difficult task as uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer. Uh, he's putting together that budget I mentioned earlier. But they are two stabilizing forces. Sunak, very experienced, uh, former Chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, uh, and Hunt, a very, very experienced minister. 
The, the city has already given its thumbs up uh, to uh, uh, Sunak, uh, the pound is surging, the FTSE index is surging uh, and the cost of government borrowing is tumbling which might well impact uh, beneficially on uh, interest rates uh, relating to mortgages uh, for, for British people. Uh, so uh, I, I, he has the ability to do it, uh, we'll, we'll uh, have to see how uh, he, he shapes up as far as uh, forming his cabinet and uh, it's, it's going to be a difficult uh, few weeks and months ahead as he tries to get to grips with the economy and set Britain on a serious economic path. And we, we are going to be watching to, be, to see if he'll be the one to unite this uh, fractioned uh, party. But uh, it's definitely a very difficult time for the UK economy. Uh, we haven't really heard much of his plans uh, since the leadership campaign over the summer. How soon do you think uh, we will be hearing uh, uh, some clarity on how he intends to balance these, uh, these shaky books in the UK? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. And we know as this, this budget is in the pipeline uh, due to be announced on the 31st of uh, October. And uh, look, it's going to contain some pretty eye-watering figures in it that the, 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 the Chancellor's already said that uh, or indicated there will be spending cuts, uh, for example, in the national health, possibly on, on defence too, but uh, uh, Whitehall departments, all of the Whitehall departments have to uh, do some serious cost cutting to try to bring the economy uh, uh, into, into control again. Uh, and uh, it, it, this is something that we'll hear, I'm sure, from uh, Sunak when he gives his uh, acceptance speech on the steps of Downing Street, uh, either today or tomorrow, so, uh, uh, but we'll, as I say, we'll have to wait for the uh, budget to be announced, uh, which I'm sure is perhaps being rewritten with some Richie Sunak uh, uh, suggestions. Naturally, he, he's a libertarian, he's a Thatcherite, he believes in uh, less government, not more government, he believes in low taxes, but the reality of the situation is that uh, British people are going to fe face a serious rise in taxes to, to cut the, sh the shortfall that uh, has been discovered in the uh, British economy, estimated at around $60 billion. Uh, so that's a large amount uh, to, to make up. Polarized Chief Correspondent John Cookson, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday.